Hi guys. This is going to be a little video on uh, doing a cold start on the lawnmower there. I haven't had it up in about, or running in about way back before Thanksgiving. So, uh, yeah, and the grass is looking pretty, starting to look pretty gnarly. So, uh, we're going to see if we can't get it fired up here and we just got to pull it out and get it fired up here and we'll see what we got. Don't make fun of my boots. They're super sexy. Sunglasses on, the sun's not even out. This is my MTD Gold. Nice little lawnmower. I traded somebody for this thing. Actually, this is my MTD Gold with a Kohler 20 horse. Oh man, I forgot to drain the gas. That's gonna be bad. But anyway, it's like a cold start. I gotta put the battery back in it and all that good stuff. And so I'll drag it out here and we can see it. And then we'll we start working on it. First, all right. Now I noticed something. I need to fix before I uh, put the battery in here on top of that fan. There's a bunch of mud and grass. I'm gonna spray that off there, and then we'll check the oil. And I forgot that I put uh, non-ethanol gas in this thing, so the gas is fine. I'm gonna top it off again, of course. Like I said, check the oil. Check tire pressures, stuff like that. And then we'll try and do a test fire. Let me spray that fan thing off first. Nice, it'll, it'll sling that water off top of it whenever I fire it up. These mowers have a bad reputation for the covers messing up and sticking and flooding the cylinder with gasoline. But that's why I have a uh, fuel shutoff on this one, on this side over here. So it won't do that. I'll show you my uh, modifications here. I had this, I put this. Uh, fuel shut off valve there because like I said those carbs are bad for sticking and flooding the motor but that's a new carb too so I just went ahead and did that anyway just to be safe uh, and the other thing these lawnmowers are bad for is these lights falling out and shorting out against the muffler because the wires melt against the muffler so I uh, put this little uh, two-sided tape thing with the zip tie on there keep it from keep it off the muffler when they fall out. They do fall out all the time, so alright. Still still freed up. Still that battery in there and then we'll test fire it. She should start right up. She always does. I imagine that battery's probably dead. It was a new battery last year. So 
and I always take it out every year just to keep from that happening. So let's see. She's got some juice this year. So put my connections up here. White to negative. Red to positive. Okay. Here's that. Take this one. Put it on. Positive side of the battery. Put your strap on there. It's almost to fall out on you. There we go. Easy as that. I want to try to keep the seat uh, propped up in the wintertime when it's in storage, to keep from cracking or rotting. We'll fire this puppy up. Gas on. There goes nothing. stop for a few minutes. I shut it off so I can hear myself talk. I am um, gonna blow some of these old leaves left over from the fall out into the grass and then I'll do a couple test cuts with it and see how it goes. I'll try to do a little time lapse here and speed that up. So, yeah. I'm gonna jump on it here and do a couple swipes. Alright guys, I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I'll come back and order I'm done. Alright. It did okay, I guess. Had to go over it a couple times. For the most part. It was pretty... It got pretty good.
Um, I did figure out a couple things this thing needs before actually the season gets here. Full in full swing. Still got no leaves on the trees. Um, it needs belts and new blades for sure because it slips. All right, like I said, it does need. I know it needs at least a drive belt. It needs new belts anyway. I never did the belts. I did the blades last year though, so might just need sharpening because they are new blades last year. So we'll just try sharpening and go from there. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little just long work video. It's not really a review. I guess it's just a. I would say just a cold start review video of my lawnmower and just test cut a little bit of yard work. I hope that time lapse, I don't think the time lapse worked. So I'm glad to figure out time lapse on this stupid camera. So another thing I usually do, I don't know if anybody else does it or not, but after every time I cut the grass, I always wash it off with a water hose or yeah, most of the time with a water hose, just rinse all the dirt and mud off of it. I usually do that with any weed eaters I got, any kind of equipment, after I'm done using it. So if y'all have any questions or tips on, or advice on that, just leave them down below there too if you want to. I probably might actually, uh, might actually put a sunset video in this thing here. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below there. Thanks.